state-of-the-art exhibits are all around us here at OTC. I'm at Highland, and here's what's happening on day three of OTC 2013. From senior level executives to young professionals and students aiming to learn more about the industry, every day OTC attendees are discovering something new. It's just unbelievable. <laughs> so many booze companies, it's huge. I'm very, very excited. This has been very, very well organized. OTC provided a platform for project managers to brainstorm ideas. This networking reception followed a presentation on assuring technical competence in major infrastructure projects. The presentation sparked conversations on the relationship between oil and engineering companies. Attendees also talked about policies and procedures and what else can be done to assure quality decisions. Just like with the booth, there's a ton of traffic along the aisles, giving companies of all sizes a chance to generate new business. Just people walking up and down the aisle and they see our, our booth and they stop and we visit. It's the best way there is to get your name in front of as many people as possible. And usually the people that attend these type conferences are, are your decision makers. The unparalleled technical program offers some great takeaways and best practices, all things you can take back to the office and share with colleagues. It's excellent. Actually, we have the opportunity to see top senior executives and you know exchanging opinions, and it's a very good technical, not just technical, but also managerial forum to see which are the trends in the international industry. The thing that impresses me over the years is the growth of the international content and it's, it's really spectacular and we're seeing things now that I didn't dream we'd see 15 years ago. Panel sessions take you into a topic in depth. An overflow crowd for this technical session on mega projects focused on the familiar challenges the industry faces to the environment, technology, logistics and execution, but on a grander scale. Four mega source areas have been developed and three more are underway. The panel focused on key areas such as the fundamentals of project management, forming a unique identity for the mega project and how partners play an increasingly important role. Uh, understanding the stakeholder requirements that sit outside of the, the strictly project team on both the client and the contractor side is one of the key elements to, a, to uh, the success of a project. This year's conference offers an expanded OTC Parkway. Just take a look at the amazing technologies you can find out here. I love it. Lots of people, new people to see, and a lot of new companies to uh, get in front of. Everything our career has to offer is right here in front of us. Back inside Reliance Center, the technical program is in full swing. Leading experts shared best practices for ultra deep water riser systems. A wide array of concepts and innovation were discussed. Presentations included a discussion of the significant challenges in the design of SCRs for harsh environments or large motion host platforms. The use of high strength steel grade X80 to reduce pipeline weights and provide savings and a new riser concept. The tethered catenary riser or TCR for field development in deep and ultra deep waters. If you're here in Reliant Park, stay tuned to the monitors for more OTC TV, along with interesting information about new products and companies. Thanks for watching OTC TV. I'm Ed Hyland.